Hi everybody, Alex Ploy here from Expert Forex. I hope you enjoy today's Forex trading video. In this lecture, we're going to be covering the rules of channel trading. Really simple rules and that's why I like channel trading, no complicated rules. So on the screen, you can see a perfect example of a channel and it also helps me explain the rules quite nicely. As we've seen in a previous lecture, what you would do is you would establish a, ch a channel with only three turning points. So at number one, we've got our first rejection or turning points point. At number two, we've got another rejection and turning point. And at number three, we have a another rejection and turning point. So by drawing a line over one and two, you create a channel a reference and then and all you then do is you draw a parallel line over turning point number two so once you've done that the rules are quite simple we are going to assume that the price will bounce at number four so if you know number three and the price is dawdling downwards you can already anticipate that number four will be a bouncing point and in fact that's what happened here, which which makes it a really nice, good example. There's our bouncing point. So at, at once you've established one, two, and three, you can already put your pending order down here at number four for a buy. And the target for this buy will be the other side of the channel. So you could actually put a pending order with a target on the other side of the channel and uh, go to sleep wake up the next morning the pending order would have activated and the price would be hopefully on its way to the other side of the channel and that's another thing i like about channel trading you can trade into the future and you can sleep through the deals right so the first rule is once you've established the first three bouncing points assume that the fourth bouncing point will be a bounce and and so on so you'll also assume that the fifth point will be a bouncing point so we can even put a pending order up here for a sell and the target naturally would be the other side of the channel at number six here and at number six you can again put a a pending order buy in because we are assuming the a bounce over here so those are the rules basically just assume bouncer once you've established a channel assume that there will be bounces uh, on the channel lines now what is also illustrated quite nicely here is what i call a fail swing so at at point six we're assuming that the price will go up here and we can put in a number seven in there quickly let me do that we're assuming that the price will go up to number seven but Good things don't always last forever. And what happens is the price made an effort to go to number seven, didn't make great progress, got about a third of the way or a quarter of the way to number seven, and then started turning around and going back. What I call that is a failed swing. And once a failed swing breaks out of the channel, like it has over, uh, at, uh, over here, you can safely enter a breakout transaction in this case it would be a breakout sell and your target would normally be the width of the channel because the the currency tends to go break out by the width of the channel and here's a good example it, it, it virtually did exactly that and then it moved on we won't cover that that aspect at, as yet but so the second rule of channel trading is when you see a failed swing assume that it's going to break out of the channel put your pending order outside of the channel not inside the channel outside of the channel to catch the breakout and when it happens ride it for more or less the width of the previous channel so those are the two basic rules of channel trading a third guideline is that when a channel is trading very sharply in a trend this one isn't too bad it's a soft trend but if there's a sharp trend be wary of trading against the trend so the trade from number five to six is a relatively dangerous one because it's against the trend i'm not saying that you can't do it but just be wary of those trades don't trade against the trend if you don't have to this one is a mild trend if your channels are much steeper than the one shown here then you should be wary about trading against the trend 
So channel trading is relatively simple and that's again why I like it so much. So let's move on to the next lecture. Thanks for watching this video. You can find links and more information about the video in the description. If you found it interesting, please like it and share it with your friends. Also remember to subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss any future Forex trading videos. So from me, Alex Deploy, cheerio.